And you can imagine how proud Gerard Mayo's parents are on this historic day. As WVZ's Nick Giovanni shows us, Mayo's family has watched him work toward this goal for years. As Gerard Mayo stepped up to be introduced as the new head coach of the Patriots Wednesday, the Mayo family sat two rows deep inside Gillette Stadium. One thing I, I could spend all day up here is talking about my family. It's always um, humbling when you see your children speak a dream, but then achieve the dream. Mayo's mother, Denise Mayo Hines, saw the makings of a future head coach back when he first professed his love for football. We used to do this back in our church. You had to tell, tell the whole church what you wanted to be when you wanted to grow up. And he always said, I want to be a professional football player. Is that right? And he was saying it from the time he was eight years old. You saw a head coach written all over him? All day. All day. Mayo comes from a football family. He and his three brothers grew up around the game. Their high school coach, Tommy Austin, who sat alongside the family today, said Mayo's football acumen stood out long before he became a first-round draft pick and Super Bowl champion. You know, he was very level-headed. He was, he, was, he was a coach on the field, you know, and you, you can go back and see film of him as a junior, even as a sophomore, pointing guys out and reminding them, hey, be here. It was his brother, Duran, who served as the Patriots' strength and conditioning assistant coach for the last six seasons, who coached Gerard into becoming a coach. But the decision to become Bill Belichick's successor was not one openly discussed at the family dinner table until recently. He held his uh, cards pretty close to his uh, to his to himself overall and um, thinking at the last minute he you know he let the family in and uh, we were excited. As the franchise's first black head coach, Mayo has now cemented a special place in the Patriots history books. To be able to you know see Gerard penetrate that ceiling, I just believe that it just kind of inspires anyone out there that is sometimes hemmed up because of biases that at the right time, God will open up that ceiling. The sight brought his family to tears Wednesday as Mayo thanked his loved ones for lessons learned over the years that have helped shape the person and coach he is today. Reporting for Foxborough, I'm Nick Giovanni, WBZ Sports.